Hey guys, good evening. This is Max here with WatchMadAsTrade.com once again, coming at you with yet another video here for free on YouTube. And this time it's regarding fast trading executions, how I do it, and pretty much minimizing that lag time that can potentially screw you over in trading a fast moving stock with high momentum and high volatility. Um, of course, uh, this is a question I've been getting a lot in the live sessions uh, regarding hotkeys. So this is how I'm going to explain how I get in and out so quickly. Definitely this is a very important concept. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, definitely knowing the technical stuff, you know, reading charts and uh, level 2 tape reading and all that it is fun. It's good to know, but all that knowledge is pretty useful only if you know how to execute your plans properly, right? So what you want to get at here is get to know your tools very well and know how to implement them very efficiently and uh, pretty much utilize all the features to its fullest so you can execute your trades with speed and precision. So that being said, we're going to go over um, how to set up hotkeys here on Dash Trader Pro. And also, if you guys don't have a platform that has hotkey capabilities, I would highly suggest it. I can't, I can't tell you how many times hotkeys has prevented me from losing a lot of money, so it's well worth it. If you don't have a platform with hotkeys, like Thinker Swim, I don't think has hotkeys, uh, switch to a Dash Trader or something uh, that has hotkeys. So that being said, to go to set up your hotkeys on Dash Trader Pro, you go to Setup and Conveniently and Appropriately, you go to Hotkey. And now you got a bunch of options here, some pre-built scripts. So you see stuff like uh, cancel all orders, close all positions, <clears throat> all this fancy stuff, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how this is done. So the ones you want are shares, cancel your orders, load shares in position is pretty uh, important as well. And also some of the price, right? Because you wanna be able to adjust your price and your number of shares, uh, cancel your orders in one button, and load your position in one button as well really quickly. You got this other fancy stuff, you know, like uh, direct routes or whatever, refresh level two, all this stuff. Uh, it could be pretty useful too, but um, overall it's a little bit, uh, I would say you don't really need it as much. It's not as important as this, uh, shares and price and cancel your order stuff. So the first one I want to program would be cancel all orders. Uh, this is the one that's really important. You accidentally punch in something. I programmed this to be F1. So, you know, if I punch in an order, I don't, I accidentally punched in F1, it's gone. Um, load shares in position. So whatever your position is for that stock, uh, you hit F2, then it changes to that position. So that, those are two pretty important. These are pre-built scripts that I uh, use F1 and F2 for. Um, with regards to the shares, now let's go ahead and see how this works. So plus 100, minus 100, pretty self-explanatory. That just means that if you say, yeah, without uh, 100 shares, 900 shares of G Pro punched in the order, it would just add 100 or subtract 100 to that position, depending on uh, what button you pressed, right? Let's go ahead and program these. So as you click on right here, double click, brings up this nice little window hot key script builder, and just go ahead and punch in a, a key, let's say F5. Click on commit. Now you got F5 programmed to plus 100 shares. Minus 100 shares, it's punching F6. Same thing. So there we go. So let's look at what that just did. So if I go to this window, boom, right? Really, really fast, really easy, really convenient. A lot faster than just clicking the clicking the button and punch it, clicking your mouse and punching it in the shares, right? <clears throat> so that's shares. So let's go over price, same thing. So we go to look for one that has price. So this one has a 001 and plus 001. I think this is one I programmed in the past. So we're gonna go ahead and make a new script so to show you guys that you can add something that's not on the list. So you go add new item, pre-built scripts. So you go increase price by one cent, all right? select script only and you can change this to whatever you want so let's just go one cent so let's just call this 
price plus one cent, and this is called this F7 commit. <clears throat> so now we have this option up. Let's add one for minus. Pre-built scripts. Decrease price by 0.1, select script only, and let's edit that to 10 cents. Copy paste that name, and let's put F8, so it's right next to F7 conveniently. So let's see what that just did. So let's just say you're at one cent here on G Pro. Not that you'll ever get G Pro shares for ten cents, but just for demonstra uh, demonstration purposes, you see what that just did. And then F8 brings it back down. So of course, if you're in a position to buy the stock, say ninety point five, you want to adjust the price. You do it a lot more quickly than clicking the mouse and punching in random numbers, right? So a lot more convenient. And that's some really important hotkeys that you need to program shares and price. And of course, I already went over cancel. Uh, panic is one option that you could do as well. Uh, you could program a button to do panic. It will sell all of your positions. Maybe if you know that uh, uh, your power is about to go out or something, uh, your backup battery is about to die, or you're on your laptop and uh, your, your uh, battery is dying. So you could use this option cancel first cancel last cancel your first order and this will cancel your last order so these are some other options that you can play with but for me personally I just stick with price shares cancel all load shares and that's pretty much good enough for me uh, you could also change you also add another option for maybe plus a thousand shares or plus 250 shares I'm using the same method that I just showed you guys so you want to add a new item for shares same thing pre-built scripts increase decrease shares by whatever uh, and then you just add the number, change the number to whatever you want. So, you know, 100, you want to change it to 250 or whatever. You could do that. And then the same concept, right? Program it and it'll work out pretty well. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Pretty easy. So like I said, price, have one for price. Have one for shares. Have a cancel all button. This one is very useful. I use this one pretty much like 100 times a day. Punch in order and then cancel it. Uh, load shares in position, very useful as well. So that being said, that's pretty much how to program hotkeys in a nutshell. So like I said, you pretty much either go to the pre-built commands right here, the, the presets, or you go to add new item, pre-built scripts, and then you can play with these, change the numbers, whatever. And you could also, like I said, you could route, program to routes and do some more advanced stuff. But keep it simple for me. Um, shares, price, cancel. So that being said, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.